Welcome, my name's Chrissy, and this is another recording of a Life Tree Yoga live Zoom class. It's one of our Sunday night Hatha Yoga classes, so as always, it's going to be energizing, making you feel strong and supple, as well as relaxed, ready for the week ahead. This class is all about your heart chakra. So, chakras are these energy centers in the body, and your heart chakra is all about being able to give and receive love, not just yourself and those people around you, but everything. If that's a little bit too wafty for you, this is gonna be a class that opens up your chest, takes a few back bends. We're progressing towards some peak postures, which are variations of camel pose, where you're gonna be like this in varying ways. A lock might be useful, uh, if you don't have a block at home, you could use like a sturdy book wrapped in a towel, something like a dictionary or an encyclopedia. Take the dust cover off first so you don't tear it. Other than that, just as usual, don't be in any pain. Go within your own capability. I really hope you enjoy the class. Cheers. Thanks. And we're going to start from standing today. So take yourself up into a standing posture with feet hip width apart, nice soft bend in the knees, feel like the weight is really evenly distributed through all four corners of the feet. Let the uh, pelvis just tilt under slightly, so tuck the tailbone in, and draw the belly in towards the navel. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears, and turn the palms so they're facing forward, fingertips are gently spread apart. Chin is level, which means it's in line with the spine, you're not looking up or looking down, just standing proud and tall. Allow the eyes to gently close. We're going to start our practice by chanting three yams. So inhale to get ready. Exhale, yum. Inhale, yum. Inhale. Yum. That's the mantra, the heart chakra. The affirmation, the heart chakra is I am loved. I love. So now we're going to connect with our natural breath. Just going to check in to start with, as we always do, with how the breath feels and the quality of our breathing. And once you've acknowledged how your natural rhythmic breathing is flowing today. Start to focus down on the sensation of the breath. So we don't have our hands on our belly or our chest today. So you have to really check in with that sensation of expanding when you inhale and contracting as you exhale. When you're ready, and if it's okay for you to do so today, let the lips close and start to breathe purely through the nose.
Inhale through the nose, deep breath, filling up the belly and the chest. At the top of the breath, we're going to hold for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale out of the nostrils, releasing all the air, empty the belly at the bottom, hold for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale deeply, expanding that rib cage, upper chest, up into the throat, hold for six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale to release. Emptying out the stale air, hold at the bottom for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale deeply, feeling up with air all the way through the body up to the throat, holding at the top for seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, and exhale through the nose completely. Carbon dioxide is releasing. Hold at the bottom for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for the last time of this practice. Filling up the mid chest, upper chest, up to the throat. Hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, and release. Belly contracts. Push the air out through the nose. At the bottom, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release any control over your breath. Let it become involuntary again. Notice if it's smoothed out, lengthened out through our pranayama practice. Blink the eyes open and take the hands up by the head, right angle with the hands, cactus pose. We're going to inhale, flex the hips forward, lift the chin, lift the chest, look up, spread the hands. Exhale, round the back. Draw the forearms together, make little fists as you tuck your chin, point the nose to navel, hug those elbows to the belly. Inhale, open up, send the hips forward, open the chest, cactus the arms, look up. Exhale, round and curl, top half of your body curling like a little ball. Inhale, open, push the hips forward, reach through the fingers, look up, open the chest. Exhale, round and curl, drawing in, tuck the chin, draw the belly towards the spine. Inhale, push those hips forward, open up, chest is up, maybe in back a little, chin looks up to the sky. And exhale, curling forward. Really draw that energy in, make some little fists with the hands, belly to navel. And inhale, come back up to standing. Release the hands down by the side of the body. Take an exhale, shrug the shoulders, and let that backpack go off of the shoulders. Inhale, reach right arm up into the sky. Exhale, send your hips over to the right. Half moon pose, side bend. Inhale, reach through those fingers. Exhale, send those hips a little further, firming up the belly, firming up those feet. Inhale, come all the way back up to standing. Exhale, release that hand. Inhale, other arm up into the sky. Exhale, send those hips over to the left this time, pushing them to the side, open up the chest. Inhaling, reaching through those fingers, bicep by the ear. Exhale, firm up the belly, firm up the thighs. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, release that hand. Take hands to the lower back as if you're sliding your fingers into your back pockets. Inhale, shoulders back and down. Lift the chin, look up. Draw elbows towards each other. Send the hips forward. Inhale, lengthen the back of the neck. So look right up at your ceiling. Exhale, soften the knees 
and send those hips a little further forward. Take this back bend as your opportunity to really check in with your back. This is a barometer for how your back bend might feel for the rest of the class today. So just notice how it feels. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, hinge at the hips, soft bend in the knees, fold forward, hands come to the shins or the mat. Inhale to a half lift, flat back. Exhale, draping forward. Take a hold of opposite elbows, sway from side to side. Feel that weight in the toes and the heels. And inhale, come all the way up to standing. Palms touch at the top. Interlace the fingers, point the index fingers up to the sky. Exhale, send the hips over to the left as you point your fingers over to the right for half moon pose variation two. Feel that stretch through the outer edge of the left shoulder. Draw the belly in. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, other side. Shoulders back and down away from the ears. You can bend the elbows if this is too much in your shoulders today. Inhale, come all the way back up. Keep the hands in that position. Keep the arms extended. Look up to the ceiling. Inhale, reach through those arms. Lift the chin up to the sky. Exhale, bend the knees. Push the hips forward. Use the fingers to draw a line in the sky or on the ceiling. They're like a counterweight to your hips going forward. Take another deep breath here. If your breath is juddering, really engage that core. Inhale back up to standing. Exhale, release the hands, swan dive forward again. Soft bend at the knees, hands to shins or the mat. Inhale to that nice flat back, make a right angle with your body. Exhale, fold forward. This time you can keep your hands on the mat or the shins, or maybe you can take hands underneath the feet so the toes come up to the wrist joints. Wherever you are, Bend the elbows out to the side, draw crown of head towards the ground. It doesn't matter where your hands reach, it's all about that lengthening in the back, the opening up of the hamstrings this early on in our class. Exhale, release the hands if you've got your feet on top of them. Inhale, everybody take their hands to their hips and slowly uncurl all the way up to standing. Head is last thing to come up. We're going to move into our sun salutation postures now, uh, sequence now. So take yourself to the front of the mat if you're not already there. Feet remain hip width. Inhale, swoop the hands up overhead, palms touch, look up. Exhale, folding forward, hands to the shins or the mat. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, fold all the way down, hands come to the mat, step back into your plank or your half plank, lower down. Point the toes. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, float the hands off of the mat. Exhale, hold here in this baby cobra. You've got hardly any weight or you've got no weight in those hands. Inhale, lift the chin, look a little higher, shoulders down away from the ears. And exhale, release the head and the hands down to the mat. Tuck the toes, inhale to your half plank or high plank. And exhale, bend the knees, send the bum back and up into your first downward dog. Feel the weight pushing through the fleshy heels of your hands. Feel all of the knuckles grounding into the mat. Fingertips are clawing into the mat. 
you can start to pedal the legs, extending one, bending the other, switching from side to side, walking out your dog. Inhale, look at those hands, walk or step to, uh, jump towards them, take the half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, swoop the hands all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. We're going again, so inhale, reach the hands up, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, heart lift. Exhale, come all the way down onto your mat, lowering through the back. Point the toes. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest. Keep the hands where they are and see how much of your torso you can peel off of the ground. You'll feel more weight in the hands this time. Look up to the sky. Maybe the hips peel off the ground. Maybe it's just a little bit more in your rib cage. Feel it in the lower back. Exhale, release everything down to the mat. Tuck the toes. Inhale, push through your plank. Exhale, bend the knees, send the bum back into downward dog. We're going to hold here, really bend those knees, send the belly down to the top of the thighs. Exhale, extend the hamstring back behind you. We'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Walk or jump your feet towards your hands. Take the half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, palms touch over the head. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach the hands up, palms touch. Exhale, swan dive forward, hands to the mat. Or the shins. Inhale for that half lift. Exhale, lower down the foot through your plank. Chaturanga. Point the toes. Inhale, peel that chest off of the ground. Maybe you take a full cobra. Maybe you can ground the toes, the tops of the toes into the mat. Lift the thighs up for upward facing dog. Claw those fingertips into the mat. Exhale, lower everything back down. Tuck the toes. Inhale, push up through your plank. And exhale back into downward dog. Find stillness now in your downward dog. Remember those little alignments and feel your downward dog. I'm going to hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lift your right foot up into the sky. Exhale. Bring the knee towards the nose. Inhale, lift right foot up into the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right foot up into the sky. Exhale, release the foot down onto the ground. Other side, inhale, left foot up into the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, foot up into the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, foot up into the sky. Exhale, place it back down. Inhale, walk or jump to your hands. Take the half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Catch your breath here. And inhale, come all the way up to standing. Palms touch overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer position at your chest. We're going to move through into our dancer's pose, so our balancing posture. So take your weight into your right leg, pick left foot up behind you, catch the top of the foot with both hands, and we'll begin with a quad stretch. So push the heel into the buttock, and draw those elbows towards each other, opening up the chest. Feel the lengthening through the hip flexor. Find your gaze point and 
inhale, allow that foot to peel away from the buttock. Exhale, float it up into the sky. We're keeping our chest, our hips and our face pointing forward, square and parallel to the mat. Stay long in the crown. Keep left hand on the top of left foot. Release right hand. Take it up into the air. Palm is pointing backwards. Stay on that gaze point. Feel all four corners of that standing foot grounding into the mat. You can have a soft bend in the knee if it helps. Exhale, release the hands. Keeping the foot lifted, take the knee all the way through so it's in front of the body. Interlace fingers over the shins. Hug that knee in. Take the nose down to it. You can even give your knee a little kiss to show yourself some love today. Release that foot down to the mat. Give standing leg a shake. We're going to do the other side. So shift weight into left leg this time. Pick right foot up. Grab the top of the foot with both hands and push it into the buttock for that quad stretch to begin with. Elbows and shoulders are peeling apart, drawing towards each other. Inhale, take that foot away from the buttock. Exhale, float it up into the sky. Keep the torso tall and long. Keep those hips and shoulders shining forward. Keep left hand on left foot. Release uh, right hand all the way up. I think I've mixed my feet and hands up. So same hand as holding on to same foot. Other hand releases into the sky, palm points backwards. Feel standing leg rooting into the ground like a tree. Exhale, release the hands, draw that knee through the body, keep the foot lifted. Interlace fingers over the shin, hug that knee into the body. Nose comes to knee, maybe a little kiss. Show yourself some love. Release that foot down to the mat. You can step or jump your feet out lengthways now. So four and a half to five feet wide. We're going to turn our toes so they are pointing at 45 degree angle. Inhale, reach the hands overhead. Exhale, bend the knees, sink the palm down. Take the hands back into that cactus pose. Goddess pose. Inhale, come up a little way. Hands touch overhead, but keep the bend in the knee. Keep the tension in the thighs. Exhale, sink down and cactus the hands. A few more like that. Inhale, halfway up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, goddess hands, sink the palm down. Inhale, halfway up, palms touch overhead. Exhale, sink down, cactus arms. Last one. Inhale, come up, palms touch. Exhale, sink all the way down. Take the hands to the thighs this time. We're going to twist to drop left shoulder in. Look up, pass right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hollow out the belly, twist to look deeper. Inhale, come to centre. Exhale, drop right shoulder this time, look up past the left. Inhale, lengthen, sit the bum out behind you. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come to centre. If you've got your block to hand, you can use that to bring the ground closer to you. Or if you reach the ground easily, piano the fingers into the floor. Heel toe the feet out slightly wider. And then turn the toes in so that the feet are parallel. Allow the legs to lengthen and extend. So we're taking a wide legged forward fold here. So Joe, if it's within your reach today, maybe heel toe the feet up slightly wider, only if that feels okay for you. 
from here, we're going to take that inhale and lengthen, and we're going to exhale, fold. Now, if the hands come to the floor easily, we're going to walk them back in line with our feet. If we've got them on our block, then we're going to stay right there and maybe think about just easing that block down and closer to the feet. Take a few breaths. Nice long spine. You can have a soft bend in the knees. Take the hands to the hips and on an inhale, push through the feet, root the, through the floor, uncurl all the way up. We're going to do our warrior pose next. So if it's okay for you and your device, all you need to do is turn the right foot out. Otherwise, orientate yourself. Right foot is going to be in line with the back of left foot, in line with the middle of left foot. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height. Turn the chest so it's facing the long edge of your mat. Gaze down middle finger with right hand. And exhale, sink down the groin. Take that bend in the front leg. Should be a nice right angle so you can still see big toe. Feel that equal weight through both feet. Keeping the legs precisely where they are. Drop your back hand and rest it on your back thigh. Flip front hand over so it's facing the sky. And reach it up and back for reverse warrior. If your hand feels okay to do so, so you're not getting pins and needles in it, you're going to peel that back heel off the floor, so you're coming into a lunge position. Hips will turn in slightly. Gaze down your back foot, very slowly, start to descend back knee to the ground, to the mat, coming down into a lunge position. So knee is going to connect with the ground. Once you're there, you can release top of the foot to the mat and keep gazing back at that back foot. Mikey, if your shoulder's hurting, you can just take hands to hips. And we're all going to take our hands to hips now anyway. So place hands on hips and spin the chest back so it's facing your front foot again. Square that chest off. And sink a little deeper into that hip flexor. You can lift the chin and chest up and draw the elbows towards each other again. Really opening up our heart. Inhale, allow the back to lengthen upright. Take the hands down to the ground. Walk them so that your body weight is shifting towards your back knee. And turn the back foot in so that you're coming into this right angle position. We're going to ground left hand next to left knee. And take right hand up into the sky. If you want to challenge yourself today, we're going to move into kneeling half moon balance. So we're going to lift our right foot off of the ground. Flex the foot. If you're here, you can even take some little pulses. Drop the foot and lift it. Drop the foot and lift it nice and slow under full control.
and release it back down. Shift the weight, walking the hands just as we did. Reverse the process. Frame that foot. Tuck the left toe under. Step back into your plank and then send the bum up into downward facing dog. Walk the hands towards the feet this time. Bend the knees deeply if you need to. Take the hands to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, step or jump the foot back out. We're going to take the other side. So we're going to do our wide-legged forward fold again to prepare. So take the arms behind the back this time. Interlace fingers. Squeeze the heels of the hands together. Inhale, lift the chin and chest. Open that chest up. Little baby back bend every time we open the chest. Exhale, descending forward, head is coming towards the ground. Hands are like a counter floating overhead. If this is too much in the shoulders, keep hands on the hips. Just have that action or intention broadening the collarbones. Let the full weight of the head hang. No unnecessary contraction in the back of the neck. Release the hands down to the hips. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Root the feet gain to the ground. Head is last. We're going to do left leg first to their front this time. So left foot turns out, shuffle it in line with the middle of right foot. Inhale the arms up to shoulder height, spread them apart wide. Spin the chest so that it is aligned with the long edge of your mat. And exhale, sink that groin down, right angle with the leg. Glance down at your big toe, make sure you can still see him. And then gaze down, middle finger of the left hand. Mirror of Rudrasana 2, Warrior 2. Every exhale, you're sinking that groin down, firing up that front thigh, whilst the spine is still lengthening up to the sky. Now, if you've got tricky shoulders to take, take hands to hips. Otherwise, drop back hand down to rest on your back thigh. Flip that left hand over, reach it up overhead. Gaze down at your back foot for reverse warrior. Feel that lengthening through the left side of the body. Feel that stretch wrapping around into the lower back on the left side, through the hip on the right side. Like we did before, you might need to step that back foot in slightly, peel that foot, uh, the back of the heel off of the ground for a lunge, and on an exhale, slowly, slowly descend the knee down towards the mat. Once it's on the mat, release the top of the foot, gaze back down at that foot. Maybe you can reach back a little further. Keep the chin level with the spine, so don't crank the head back, just drop it forward. Keep everything open, opening up that heart chakra. Release hands to hips. Turn the chest so it's pointing in the same direction as that foot. Sink the groin down. Open up that hip flexor. Lift the chin back up to the sky. 
draw those elbows towards each other. Reconnect with your breathing here. Inhale, bring the spine upright. Exhale, hands come down to the ground. We're going to walk our hands towards our back knee, shift our body weight over the back knee, take the back foot behind it. Place right hand next to right knee, reach left hand up into the sky. We can take that balance again, floating left foot up off of the ground, flexing the foot. And if we want to work those hips and glutes, exhale to drop it, inhale lift, exhale drop, inhale lift, exhale drop. Inhale, lift. Exhale, drop it this time. Keep it there. Take the, so that hand back down to the mat. Reverse the process. Walk the hands back to that front foot. Frame that foot. Ground those hands into the mat, directly underneath the shoulders. Tuck the back toe. Step back into your high plank or half plank. And then exhale, send the bum back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here and take the temperature of your back. Now that we're lengthening it out from downward dog after those back bends, just see how it's feeling. Now keep the hands where they are, drop the knees, release the tops of the feet to the mat. Stack those hips directly over those knees, walk the hands away from the body. We're coming into our puppy pose. So you can feel this in the shoulders, you can feel your bum popping up into the sky, and the chest and the head reaching down towards the mat. So if your hands aren't so far away from the body yet, that's still fine. It's a good place to be. Just feel that the shoulders are really drawing apart from each other. You're really pushing the ground away and you're flexing your back like you're in your um, cow pose. Wherever you come to, try and let the head just level out so that your cheeks or maybe even your ears are in line with your biceps. Eventually, we are melting our heart and our forearms all the way down to the ground. Take a moment to remember that affirmation. I am loved. I love. And on an inhale, walk those hands towards the body. Sit the bum back on the feet. And this is where our block is going to come in handy. If you don't have it, you can just imagine that you have it. It will still probably give you the same action and intention. So we're going to come into our camel pose and some variations thereof. So take the bum off of the heels now, so that you're standing on your knees. And if you've got your block, put it the thinnest way possible between your thighs. So if it was a book, the spine of the book is coming just below your groin. If you haven't got the block, just imagine that you are squeezing the block and that the thighs are rolling in towards each other. Everyone can begin today by tucking their toes under if their toes feel right. 
and taking the hands down to the small of the back like we did in our half moon for the back bend. Fingers point down, shoulders are back, elbows peeling towards each other. Inhale, squeeze that block, lift the chin and chest, look up to the sky. Exhale, draw the belly in as you send those hips forward. Think about looking up rather than back and allow the hips to open up your back bend. Squeeze that imaginary block. If this feels okay for you, the next step is to reach those hands down to the heels. Do not do this if your back feels uncomfortable or niggly in any way. Stay with squeezing that block and pushing the hips forward. If you're holding on to your heels, still think about looking up and back. Don't crank the neck. Push that chest forward. Peel those shoulders apart, squeezing the shoulder blades in towards each other. We're going to come out this now, so engage the belly, squeeze that block again, come up, take those hands to the small of the back as you do so, take a block out, sit the bum back on the heels for a moment, take the hands to the knees, tuck the chin, maybe even close the eyes, just take a moment to let that pose settle before we move into our variations. Okay, so come back onto your knees, lift your bum up, tuck the toes under. We're going to begin as we did before, with both hands on the small of the back. Inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, squeeze that block, lean all the way back. If you've taken the block away, just imagine it's there. Just imagine that you've got it. Now take right hand, either grab a hold of the heel or keep it in the lower back, reach left hand up and back. One-handed camel, keep looking back. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, keep that arm lifted. We're going to twist our camel now. So if you're keeping hand on lower back, take the right hand and place it right on the left hand side of your lower back, so you're twisting open to the side. If you're holding onto the heel, then right hand grabs a hold of the left heel. Inhale as before, open up that chest, look up. Exhale, squeeze that imaginary block, send the hips forward and lean back. Look up at the sky, spin that chest open this time. So chest is going to be opening up to the right slightly in this twisted version. One more big inhale here, reach with the hands. Exhale, squeeze that belly, squeeze the thighs. Inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, release that hand down. Release the tops of the feet. Sit the bum back down for a moment. Take the hands on the knees, tuck the chin. Settle down. Notice the difference between the side we've just done and the side we're about to do. So I'm going to show you from the back this time, just so that you can see. So as we did before, you're going to inhale, tuck the toes, take the hands to the hips, shoulders back and down, peeling towards each other, looking up at the sky. This time we're going to keep the left hand on the left side and we're going to reach right hand up into the sky. Inhale, look forward and up. Exhale, really squeeze and roll those thighs in towards each other and push those hips forward. Spend that heart up into the sky, up into the clouds. Look up and back. 
Use your core to support your back. Inhale, come up, keep that hand lifted, take that other hand to the opposite side of the lower back, so left hand is reaching down onto the right side of the lower back, or right ankle. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to push the hips forward, bending back. Spin that chest open to the left this time. Really reach through those fingertips, feel the energy flowing, all the way through those fingertips into that lovely open chest. Keep that smooth, steady breathing. Feel the sensation in the shoulders as they open. And then squeezing the hips, squeezing the belly. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale, release the feet, stick the bum back. Take the knees together this time. Hands can rest on those knees for a moment. Close the eyes. Feel the body settling down after that vigorous back bending sequence. So we're going to move into our half tortoise through embryo back out of our half tortoise. So inhale, reach the hands overhead, palms touch, fingers fits touch, thumbs cross over each other, like a diver about to dive into a pool. We're gonna dive down towards the mat. We're gonna try and get our head and our nose to touch the ground before the outer edge of our little fingers do. Bum can float off of the feet a little bit if they need to. So inhale, reaching through those arms, draw the biceps back by ears. Exhale, dive towards the mat. Head and nose is going to land on the ground before the fingers do. <laughs> Once they're there, really push little fingers into the ground. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, let that head just soften into the ground. Release the hands, take back to the hands, either side of the feet. You can sit the bum back down on the heels and bring the forehead closer to the knees. You can even roll onto the top of the head. Let those shoulders just roll forward, elbows rolling out to the side. Counterbalancing all the heart opening we've been doing in embryo pose. Keep the head where it is, stretch the arms out in front, take those palms and fingertips to touch again, cross the thumbs over. You might have to lift the bum again to do this, but we're going to come out of the half tortoise pose the way we went into it. So our arms and hands are going to lift off the ground before our head does. We're going to do this on a deep inhale, lift the hands, lift the arms, strong work in the shoulders, and slowly come all the way back up. Exhale, take the hands down by the sides of the body. We're going to come into our inversion now before we slow things down completely. So option, easy option if you're tired or if ladies if it's time of the month or if you just love this pose, option here, dead bug. Float the feet, float the hands, take everything really soft. If that's uh, too chilled out for you today and you want a little more challenge, we've got an option to come into shoulder balance. I'm just going to remove my pony's tail to do it. So take your dead bug if you want your dead bug, otherwise shoulder balance. We're going to draw the knees in towards the body, roll the bum up, make a little space on the lower back so we can place our palms right on our lower back. 
and we're going to shuffle our elbows in towards each other. Our knees might be coming quite close to our nose, that's absolutely fine. See how you feel here. Then the progression in shoulder balance is purely to lift the knees and the feet as we walk our hands further up our back. We are going to be feeling our chin tucking in towards our chest. Don't be tempted to move the head or look around. Keep that neck supported firmly, chin tucking into our chest. If you're in your shoulder balance, really think about how high you can get those hands up your back and how close you can walk those elbows in towards each other. Once you're there, it's Yogi's choice whether you point, flex, or flaunt the feet. You can even take some swirling motions with the feet. That feels nice on your outside. You can take soles of the feet to touch, knees flop out to the side, like you're in a, a bound angle pose. I'm going to come out of it now just to see what everybody's doing. So stay where you are. Breathe steadily. Feel the circulation flowing out of the, whole, the feet. Lovely. Just going to take one more minute in this pose. Feel a light, airy quality to your inversion. Shoulder balance is queen of the inversions, queen of the postures. And we're going to come out of it the way we came into it. So we walk our hands back down our back, bend our knees in towards our face. And we really put the brakes on here as vertebrae by vertebrae, we make contact with the ground again. If you're in dead bug, just take your feet down nice and slowly. We're all going to put soles of the feet on the ground with a little bend in our knees. Take the arms out to the side. If you don't have room, you can cactus the arms. When you're ready, on an exhale, roll the knees over to the left hand side. You can pick your hips up and shuffle them into the middle of the mat for this supine twist. The neck feels good. You can turn your face in the opposite direction. Inhale back to centre, keeping the knees and the head centre, and exhale to the other side. And it's up to you how far away you want the knees from the body, the feet from the body. Just take a twist that feels nice for you. Minimal effort now, as we're winding things down. Inhale, come back to centre. And we're ready for our final relaxation. Well earned. So extend the feet out to the corners of the mat. If that feels all right on your lower back, see how your lower back feels after our back bending. If you need to keep soles of the feet on the mat, and just let the knees rest on each other. I invite you to do that if it feels best for your back. Back to the hands, down on the mat. By the sides of the body, feel that there's some space between the arms and the body. Fingertips are gently curling in towards the palm. Tuck the chin in so you've lengthened the back of your neck. And when you're ready, 
Allow your eyes to gently close. Take these minutes to rest. Any thoughts that drift in, don't get into a conversation with them, just allow them to drift away. Very slowly now, start to bring your awareness back into your body. Bring yourself back to the present moment. You can take gentle movement in your fingertips, in your toes. And when you feel ready, there's no hurry. Take a big inhale and stretch from your toes all the way through the length of your body, reaching your arms overhead.
when you're ready. Wake the body back up, reaching through, roll over onto your right hand side. Bring yourself up into a comfortable seated position for your own time, with the eyes still closed. We're taking us off mute so we have an opportunity now to close our practice as we opened it with three chants of yang, the mantra for our heart chakra. So take your hands to heart center, inhale to prepare, exhale, yang. Yum. Inhale. Thank yourself for taking the time to take your practice today and working with that intention of love for all things, for yourself and the ability to give and receive love. Namaste everybody.